Hello and welcome to the Reiki Gem Wellness channel. Today we're going to be talking about the supportive and healing benefits of Indigo Gabbro, also known as Mystic Merlinite, the stone of spiritual evolution. For those who have watched my channel before, welcome back. I really appreciate your support. And for those who are new to the channel, my name is Shannon, and I'm a certified Reiki master and teacher, and I'm a certified gemologist, and I combine those skills and passions to provide you with the knowledge, the tools, and the opportunities to practice incorporating crystal healing into your daily life. And today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about the top four benefits of working with Mystic Merlinite, or Indigo Gabbro the stone of spiritual evolution. And if you're looking for uh, Gabbro, it's known as many names, Gabbro Jasper, Gabbro, Indigo Gabbro, or Mystic Merlinite. Now, Merlinite is a different stone. This is Mystic Merlinite, and it's a marketing name for this stone, but yeah, if you're looking for this stone, then you'll have to check under all of those names. I'll list them all in the description below so you have them. And if you find today that Indigo Gabbro, and I'm just gonna call it Gabbro for the rest of this video, is a stone that calls to you, then I also have Gabbro bracelet and gemstone sets, and also pendants, available in my Etsy store, and I'll have the link to that in the description below. And today I'm surrounded by Indigo Gabbro energy, and it is amazing. So the top four benefits of working with Gabbro, and the first benefit is that it dramatically awakens intuitive and psychic abilities. Now this is a stone that connects the root through the crown chakra, clears it, opens it dramatically, although it particularly stimulates the third eye chakra. Now this is known as the stone of spiritual evolution, and this is where it starts in awakening your psychic abilities. And it's also called mystic Merlinite because of its ability to support intuitive growth, and spiritual practices and magical rituals. This helps deepen meditation. It helps you get into trance states. It encourages prophetic dreaming. It's a really powerful stone for those abilities. And the second benefit of Mystic Merlinite works hand in hand with this, and it creates a protective shield so this stone is black and a purple-hued gray, which then stimulates both the root and the third eye chakra. So while the third eye is very expansive and opens you up to these abilities, the black in the root chakra then allows you to channel earth energy and creates a protective shield around you while you do these expansive practices. And it's really protective for making sure that you are not influenced by external energies, unwanted spirits, or even just lost during these really deep practices. It's really protective for you. And if you are working on lucid dreaming, keeping this in your pillow or by your bed while you're doing that will keep you from getting lost in your dreams. It will help you retain that lucid state. And the stone also repels unwanted spirits. So if you're feeling unwanted energies, negative energies, or you know that there are unwanted spirits in your home, then keeping Indigo Gabbro around your home will repel those unwanted spirits. The third benefit of Gabbro is that it has a really deep elemental connection. 
So if you're doing ritual work or meditation work that has a really strong elemental base, fire, water, air, earth, then using Indigo Gabbro in those practices is a really powerful catalyst and will help to deepen and speed up those particular practices. If you're trying to get in to a deeper connection with your own element, I know I'm very earth element connected, then holding Indigo Gabbro will help strengthen the connection with your personal element as well. And then the fourth aspect and benefit of Indigo Gabbro is, is really powerful. It's really strong and it cuts to the root of the spiritual evolution aspect. This is a stone that helps us explore our shadow self. And it can be really daunting when you know that you need to look at those pieces of yourself that you're not exactly proud of or you don't want to look at. And this helps us explore our shadow self without fear or judgment. And if you've heard the story of the lotus flower, this is a, a flower that needs to grow up through the mud and the muck before blossoming into something incredible and beautiful. And if we are also seeking spiritual evolution and awakening, we need to walk through the dark. We need to explore all of the aspects of ourselves that might be blocking our spiritual progress. This stone also helps us learn life lessons from you know experiences we may feel that are negative and to see the silver linings of those indigo gabbro can also help us clear outdated karmic beliefs or soul beliefs that are still lingering and blocking our spiritual awakening because even though we've learned the lesson from something you know, our karmic attachment to that might not just dissolve away magically. Sometimes we need to take a concerted effort to just clear all of that out. Like the coffee pot that's been used many, many, many times, the coffee might be gone, but there's still this kind of layer of coffee muck that occasionally we really have to scrub out and make sure that it's gone before the glass is clear again. And that's how this helps us. And then also, with the exploration of our shadow self. Indigo Gabbro helps us discover those pieces of us that may feel a little broken or fragmented or denied. And it helps us send those pieces back up to our higher self so that it can be incorporated back into the whole with love and compassion. And it helps us accept ourselves and love ourselves exactly how we are. So you can see that Mystic Merlinite, Indigo Gabbro, it's an incredibly powerful stone, especially if you are really working on your own spiritual journey, your spiritual evolution and progress. This is a stone that will really support you. It, it works quickly, dramatically, and you can really feel an effect of holding the stone right away. If you start to feel overwhelmed by Indigo Gabbro, then you may want to then go hold some uh, black tourmaline to help ground you or hematite to just help put you in the present moment and just be if you're starting to feel a little overwhelmed by it. But thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today as we discuss indigo gabbro or mystic merlinite the stone of spiritual evolution and i hope that you found this useful and if this feels like a gemstone that you'd like to explore more then in two days on saturday i'll be posting a guided meditation designed specifically for sitting with indigo gabbro and you don't need the stone itself to benefit from the meditation if you go through the meditation and any of the prompts really speak to you or a trigger
trigger you, make you feel uncomfortable, then that's a sign that you should purchase a piece of indigo gabbro and go through the meditations with it some more. Really see where it can support you. So if you're new to the channel and you're interested in crystal healing and all the different types of gemstones that can support you, I post about a new gemstone every single week. On Thursdays, I post this video about the healing and supportive benefits of the gemstone. And on Saturdays, I post a guided meditation with that gemstone so that you can identify which gemstones can really support you in your current everyday life situations. That's the core of how we incorporate crystal healing into our daily lives. So thank you again for joining me today. And I hope to see you during the guided meditation.